What's up, good people? It's your boy DJ the Park Boy, and welcome to a new episode of Jays and Jumpers. And this is Week Six Power Rankings. Football is back, and you know I'm loving it. I know some other people out there loving it as well, man. There's been some really good games, including my Ravens pulling off a hell of a win Monday Night Football. Lamar Jackson is that guy. Yes, yes, yes. But right here, I have the list of the teams. Number one. And I'm being unbiased. Had to be unbiased for this list because I would just put the Ravens number one every week. Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen has grown into one of those guys. He's come a long way. His team is playing lights out football. They beat Kansas City. They've been blowing teams out, and the only blemish they have on their record is when they lost to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that was in week one. You know, maybe I don't know what happened because they just look like a whole different team. I don't know if they had a team meeting or something, but they flipped the switch, and they're playing like it. Number two, have the only undefeated team in football, and that's the Arizona Cardinals. I would have had them number one because they are undefeated, but, you know, they're putting out a lot more closer games. Buffalo's just beating on people right now. But Arizona right now, and I have them as number two. Yeah, that's right. They're the number two team in football. Kyler Murray's taking steps to become a better quarterback. The defense has been playing really good defense, but their offense was really slowed down Sunday when they played San Francisco. San Fran does have a pretty good defensive line, but can't have you number one win. I mean, you do win close games. Winning close games matters because – that could be the game for the Super Bowl, just like that. And you pull it off, you win, you get your Super Bowl win. So winning close games matters. But Arizona is number two on power rankings. And number three, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Tom Brady. Tom was just balling. What else can I say? They're the champs. They're still the champs till somebody beat them. And Brady's still balling. They're number three. And number four, I have my Baltimore Ravens. And number four, yes, I do. Team-wise, we aren't playing the best football. We're missing so many tackles. We shoot ourselves in the foot. But some way, somehow, Lamar Jackson keeps belling us out, making plays when we need him. And as long as he continues to do that, we should be in a good place, uh, especially when it comes time for the playoffs. He's taking steps. He had a magnificent game. He set records passing the ball. He did things people said he couldn't do, and he did it beautifully. He did it beautifully. Over 400 yards. He threw for over 300 yards in one quarter. So just let that sink in. Lamar has hit a ball. The weapons are looking much better under his command of him throwing the ball this shit. As long as we don't drop passes, we should be good to go. But at number five, I have the Los Angeles Chargers. They've won big games. Justin Herbert looks amazing. They're coming to Baltimore. It's going to be a good game this weekend. I, I expect us to pull it out, but it's going to be a good game because neither one of our defenses look like they can stop anything. But, you know, again, it should be an interesting game. I like the Chargers. They play good defense. Herbert's taking the next step. Hopefully they don't get into that spot where, you know, they just learn how to shoot themselves in the foot because they do tend to do that. But this is looking like a new team. And, again, under Herbert's leadership, He's looking amazing out the gate. Out the gate, he looks good from rookie to sophomore year. Amazing. Uh, number six, I have the Dallas Cowboys. They're 4 and 1. They haven't had to beat the best of the best of competition. They did beat Carolina, but Carolina only played bad teams to get their, you know, their quick start. Dallas played the Giants over the weekend, and that team suffered a lot of injuries in the game, including two quarterback, running back, uh, wide receiver, old lineman. Like, they were down bad. So, I have Dallas at six, but I do have question marks. Are they going to continue to play this way when they have to play the other really good teams? At number seven, I have the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are a really good team. They are. Uh, Matthew Stafford. He's a much better upgrade over Jared Goff. And that could be a difference maker. Uh, down the stretch, do I still have them as a favorite? I don't know. I still have to see. I still have to see. We have a lot of football to go. And uh, Matthew Stafford, I got to see him in the playoffs before, you know, I designate them a team to really, 
do something because they can go one and done. Or I mean, they could be in there and in and out. You know what I'm saying? They could be in and out. And number eight, I have Green Bay. That's right, the Packers at eight. They're four and one. So it's every team above them is four one or undefeated. So them falling to eight isn't that bad. They have Aaron Rodgers offense. I mean, they have Aaron Rodgers. So as long as you got one of those guys on your team, you're always, you know, designated some wins. But the kicking was horrible in that game against Cincinnati. I think they missed like five field goals in a row between both teams. And Green Bay almost let that one slip away because of all the field goal misses. But guess what? They pulled it out, and they're number eight in the power rankings this week. Number nine, I have the Cleveland Browns. My opinion, they're one of the more complete teams. Baker played a good game, but they did not hold the lead when they needed to against the Chargers. That's why they failed as far as they did. But, again, they look good. Defense, I mean, defense couldn't stop anything in the second half at all. Uh, But, you know, complete team. We know Cleveland has a lot of talent. Whether they can get everything clicking or not, you know, that's up to them. Can they completely click? Because they have the talent to win it all. And that's coming from a guy who has to play them twice a year. Browns aren't the old Browns with what they have. And number 10, Kansas City Chiefs. Not contemplated them not making it because their defense is horrible, but they have Patrick Mahomes. And again, you get the benefit of the doubt when you have one of those guys on your team. But right now, they're trending to not make the playoffs, in my opinion. I have them here because of Patrick Mahomes. But they're trending to miss the playoffs, which a lot of uh, Super Bowl losers tend to do. They don't even make the playoffs the next year. So uh, whether they can bounce back and stop putting things together, I don't know. It's up in the air. But usually in the second half of the season, Steve Spagnola defense is just, I don't know, they find something different and they get to working a lot better. Maybe that's the case. So maybe we're looking at the Chiefs out of the playoffs with the highest paid player in the NFL. I'm gearing more towards the latter. But this has been Jays and Jumpers Week 6 Power Rankings. I'm your host, DJ The Park Boy, and I'm out. It's your boy, DJ The Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door. Direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.